It is Christine here, Gage Girl Training. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I am thrilled to be checking in with you guys. I wanted to give you guys some simple tips to boost your fat loss. And the tips I'm about to share today are going to be non-conventional, non-obvious things. Some of them may be obvious, some of them may not. And I'm really thrilled to just be checking in with you guys. I miss doing these live chats with you guys and I've decided to make these a more regular occurrence and super thrilled to be here. So um, while you guys are popping in, um, please comment where you are from and let me know how you found Gage Girl Training and let me know if we have good audio. Just let me know if we have good audio. We're gonna wait a few moments here. But um, boosting fat loss is a top concern that I get all the time. And there are things you can do to make your journey more effective. There are things you can do to make sure that you have higher levels of success. And the number one thing that I'm going to encourage you guys, hello from Germany, Ms. Meeks, and for everybody here, if you like these live streams, please give me a thumbs up here. And thank you, Ms. Meeks. Hello, Blessed Rhea. Um, let me know, um, like I said, where you're from. I'd love to hear it. Um, the number one thing that you can do to boost your fat loss is to get connected to accountability. Hello from Texas. Accountability is a game changer. If you are trying to lose weight, if you're trying to change your body, if you're trying to improve your eating habits and you don't tell anybody about it and you are just in a situation where if you fail, no one's gonna know, you're in a silo and trying to do everything yourself, who watching this is the type of person that you're guilty of trying to do everything on your own. You're like, I don't want help, I don't need help, I don't wanna bother anybody with my stuff. I'll do it myself. Hi, Hillary. And I find that the people in the I'll just do it myself mindset, because I used to be that person. I used to be a, I don't need help. I'll figure it out. I got this. I can do this. I don't need anybody. I don't want to bother anybody. You really are cutting yourself, selling yourself short by trying to do it all on your own. And the reason why I say that is it's not selfish to get help. It's not needy. It doesn't mean you are weak. You guys, the best athletes in the world have coaches. They don't, they're not like, oh, I'll figure it out. Michael Phelps has a coach. LeBron James has a coach. People have coaches. People have support staff. And you have to remember that there's no shame. It doesn't mean you're weak to hire a coach. It doesn't mean that you're weak if you invest in a challenge where there is a sense of community, there's a sense of completing something, there's a sense of having targeted goals. And I wanna call anybody out right now who's in that headspace that's like, mm, I don't need help, I can do this on my own, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll just figure it out. And if you stay in that, I'll just figure it out on my own headspace for too long. Hi there, good morning, good morning it puts you in a dangerous place because when you close yourself off to support, when you close yourself off to help, when you close yourself off to feedback, when you close your, it, it closes you off to learning, it closes you off to growing. And is there anybody here who's like, you know what, I never looked at it that way. I have been mentally closed off to input. I have been in this headspace where I think, hey Jenny, I have been in a headspace where I think I know it all. I have been in a headspace where I've been mentally closed off to outside help. And if that's you, that could be pride, that could be ego. And like I said, I've been caught in that rut in the past where I told myself I don't need help. I can figure it out. I, could, I just gotta do it, but guys, I, here I am, I've won fitness competitions, I've run marathons, I've accomplished so much in my, my health journey and physique journey over the years, but yet I'm still doing my 
my shred challenges and sharing my day by day and posting the things and tracking the macros because nobody's too good. Nobody's above the process. Does that make sense? Nobody's above the process. It's all very simple baby steps, but nobody's too good for it. And it doesn't matter how fit you ever were or have been or hope to be. Um, and you think it's a bit of a pride thing. Um, it's mostly or usually the money situation always. And I think it's really easy to use money as an excuse. I, I completely understand that resources can limit some folks. Oh, Carrie, hello. I'm glad that you love my book. Um, however, we find the resources for what's important. If, if you needed to have open heart surgery, if you needed to have a major medical procedure as a result of compromised health, guess what? That would cost thousands of dollars and if not more, and guess what? You would find the you would find a way. You would have to deal with insurance. You have to deal with this. Those bills would find a way to get paid. But when there are proactive things that you can do to make yourself feel better, why are you not choosing your health? Like people won't bat an eyelash to spend fifty bucks at the movies for two people to go. You know, tickets, some snacks. But yet people won't bat an eyelash to spend ten twenty dollars on a cocktail. People won't bat an eyelash to spend 100 bucks or more on a dinner out, but yet $99 to sign up for a challenge that's going to focus you, that's going to get you results, that's going to bring you to weekly Zoom meetings, that's going to get you workouts, that's going to get you macros. All of a sudden, like, that's too much. It's a matter of priorities. I, I once, When I first started Gage Girl Training my first year, I had this client she was beating me up over price, beating me up, beating me up, beating me up. And my prices were way lower back then. And yet she was beating me up over price. And I think at the time, it was between 50 and and $100. But yet she's getting highlights in her hair. She's traveling to Bali. She's wearing MAC makeup. Guys, it's just a matter of priority. Now... I'm rambling a little bit. I wanna talk about more things you can do to improve your fat loss journey, and that is tracking your macros. Who here avoids tracking your food intake? <clears throat> when you track what you eat, if it cannot be measured, it cannot be improved. I say this to you guys all the time, but that detail that you are skipping out on in just glazing over and just saying, I, it, I've gotten to the point where I prioritize my health and nutrition. It's a must because there's so many benefits. And congratulations to you. That's how it should be. That's how it should be. Besides this, I can use your advice and information you provide, of course, here on YouTube and your channel. Absolutely. Um, but back to what I was saying, you guys, if it can't be measured, it can't be improved. And I want to give you guys an analogy. <clears throat> Having an understanding of how much you eat in a day is crucial. And it's not to stress you out, it's not to overwhelm you, and it's not to hold you to a standard of perfection because I know a lot of women can get really overwhelmed by that. The reason why you do it, you have, regardless of whether or not you track your macros daily, your body is getting a certain amount of protein, a certain amount of fat, and a certain amount of carbs. Your body's receiving that based off of what you feed it. Now. That's, that's one boat. On the other hand, here's what your body needs. Your body needs a certain amount of these things. When you marry these two together, when you marry these two together and you align what you need and what you're giving your body, that's where the magic happens. That's where the magic happens. And so many people avoid that. And the thing is, you have to look at tracking your food intake like every day when you wake up you have a food budget your body needs a certain amount of food if you exceed that good morning if you exceed that budget for your food intake guess what you're, you're gonna start having problems if you exceed your carb threshold of what your body needs if you exceed your fat intake if you undershoot your protein intake your body's not going to function optimally your fat loss will be compromised and you're not going to re reach your goals and 
People are like, oh, but I'm eating cleaner. I'm eating better. Guys, here's my analogy, and I say this all the time. Imagine you're going shopping, and you don't look at any of the price tags, and you just grab a bunch of stuff, throw it, and then you, you check out. Picture you're at the checkout, whether you're at the grocery store, maybe you're at a department store, and you just make your choices. You don't look at the cost. And then when you go to pay, you don't even look at the total. Who would do that in their right mind? When you go to the grocery store, when you go to the mall, when you make purchases, you look at the price. It just gives you an idea of where it's at, how much it's going to cost you. So why on earth would you make all these food choices and not just have an idea, what's this going to cost me calorically? And people do it all the time. People do it all the time. And it's, it's, it's saddening, it's disturbing. Like, do you understand that like, for instance, let's say if you're drinking alcohol, mixed drinks, or let's say you go to the movies, snacks, candies, this, this, this. You can eat so many calories in one sitting and it just goes like that. And you may have not have been consciously or cognitively aware of how much you just ate. Had you been aware, you might have made a better choice. And who here gets in that you ignore it because you feel like if you didn't see it, it didn't happen. Does that make sense? So many people get into that, well, I just ate an entire bag of chips. I just ate an entire thing of cookies. I just, and if you don't track it, it didn't happen. Or if you don't look at the calories, if you don't look at it, because I think when that starts happening, people start to detach themselves from the reality of the situation. And my question to you guys is, are you ignoring the facts? Are you ignoring that? And please be honest, like there's no right or wrong answer, but maybe you've been consciously ignoring it. Maybe you've been mindlessly ignoring it. Maybe you didn't even realize that you've been ignoring that. Because the thing is, once you start paying attention to the labels and you're like, dang, this has this many grams of fat. This has this many grams of carbs. You will start making better choices, I'm telling you. But you have to bring yourself to the point where you're choosing to be consciously aware. And too many people stay ignorant, stay ignorant, don't want to improve, don't want to know better. And guys, I am not saying this to be the macros police. I'm not saying this to make your life boring. I'm not saying this to take joy from food. I'm not saying this to, to rain on your parade. I'm saying this because that is the reason why you're not reaching your goals. You could go to the gym seven days a week, but until you start consciously becoming aware of how much you're feeding your body and what your body functionally needs, I can calculate, you guys know I wrote a best-selling book, Unlock Your Macro Type. It's available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, everywhere books are sold. I can give you all the information of what your body functionally needs. I can, there's quizzes in here. We can figure out where you need to be for your calories. We could figure out what your carb tolerance is. We could figure out how much protein you need, how much fat you need. And that will give you all the information. But if you're unwilling to track, if you're unwilling to follow something, if you're unwilling to pay attention to that information, I'm sorry, not sorry, you are not going to, you're not gonna receive the level of success that you want. You're not gonna get there. And it does take that level of detail. And I've been in places in the past, and I'm not sure if anyone can relate to this. Have you ever been in a place mentally where you resent the process? Where you're like, dang, this sucks. Why does this have to be so hard? Like, why can't I just eat till I'm full and just, choose what I want and just move on and just have a day and be good. Who here has ever had that space where you're like, why is this so difficult? Why do I have to do all these steps? Why do I have to track all this? Why do I have to measure this? Do, they, like, does it really need to be this complicated? And the answer is it's not about it being complicated. It's about 
being consciously aware and dialing those things in. So if you're watching this and you know for a fact that you have room for improvement, who knows, can, who can honestly say they have room for improvement when it comes to dialing that in? If, if that's you and you're like, Christine, I haven't been paying attention. You're like, Christine, I know that things are off. Maybe you're, you're afraid. Maybe you're afraid to take a look at those numbers. Maybe you feel like that's too anal, that's too OCD. Watch what happens. If you would commit to doing this for just four weeks, I have an end of summer challenge. You can, enrollment cuts off in four days, I believe, four or five days. Yeah, five days challenge yourself to do this for an entire month watch what happens your body will change you'll feel better you'll see progress in ways that the only regret you're going to have is that you're gonna the only regret you're going to have is why didn't i start doing this sooner why didn't i start doing this sooner um i invite you guys join my end of summer challenge i'm going to be doing this myself it's only four weeks. Customized macros that change every two weeks. You get home or gym uh, training plans that are app-based. You get to do a weekly Zoom call. The Zoom calls are awesome because they're every Wednesday night. Um, you get to ask me any questions, but it's just a great meeting to stay focused, to stay energized, to just get a big solid dose of inspiration, of motivation. Um, you get to compete for prizes. You get a really wonderful private accountability support group and your macros do get adjusted every two weeks. So this is a steal. This is only $99. If you are on the fence, if you're like, Christine, I've done your programs in the past. I'm so long overdue. I'm really ready to refocus. I need to be part of that accountability. I need to be paying attention to my macros again. I want to feel better. I know it works. If that's you, I invite you to sign up. There are only five days left. There's limited spots available. So make sure you reserve your spot. Head over to gaytrolltraining.com. I do want to thank you guys for joining me today. And before I log off, I just wanted to ask you guys if you had any questions. It's a great price, Carrie. And I invite you guys, please join us. It's going to be an amazing time. You're going to get progress. You're going to experience results. And you're gonna have a community to do it with. So it makes a big difference. And I'll tell you firsthand, I know that when I'm committed, like when I sign up for something, um, men can do this as well. Men can do this as well. This is not only females. We have men do our challenges and programs all the time. We've had men winners. Cardio before or after strength training, I recommend cardio after strength training. That's a good question. Again, guys, head over to gaygirltraining.com. Just get signed up. Get signed up. You're going to love it. The price, it's only $99, you guys. And that commits you. You get the workouts. You get the macros. You get some, some additional resources. Um, you get to be part of the Zoom calls. You get to compete for the prizes. You get to be part of our private accountability forum. And the community comes to life inside of our private Facebook group. That's where you really see the day in, day out. We do our daily check-ins. We keep each other accountable. Like you will feel like you are plugged in and a part of something. And I know that in this day and age, it's really hard to find friends with similar goals. I think that even within a household, a lot of my clients don't get the support they need from their partner or significant other or their family or their friends because your friends, your family, yes, they they love you, but like they aren't always necessarily your best advocates to encourage healthy eating. In fact, sometimes they can be some of your biggest adversaries because they might be tempting you to like, oh, you don't need to track all that. Oh, you're already thin. Oh, you don't need to do all this. Or why do you need to do all that? Like they're not necessarily always the best people to who are truly going to understand why you need to be doing what you're doing, the nature of your unique challenges, um, the challenges that you face. So <clears throat> I invite you guys, if you don't have people in your real life that can help fill that need, 
the gauge girl community will really help fill a void. So I love you guys. Have a fantastic day. I'm about to jump into a meeting. Again, visit gaugegirltraining.com to join. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.